Hi, you're watching Toys Bag Zen. I've got these two hurricane mask vehicles. One is complete and one is not, but the other one has some broken pegs on it. So let's put these together with the, the best parts. Let's have some fun. This vehicle was from the second series of the mask line and it was released in 1986. It's got a lot of features. You can pull out the headlights. You can see that this example I have here, it's in pretty good condition, but it's missing most of the pieces. Now this one here is complete. Now this example did have stickers on it too. You can see the picture on the bottom right. That's the only shot I have of it with the sticker. Some kid put a bunch of stickers on the hood and on the top. So I had to remove those with lighter fluid very carefully so that I wouldn't remove any of the paint on the flames. You see mask on the bottom. And here, if you push the bumper down, the spare tire is a projectile. So it starts out as a four wheel 57 Chevy and turns into a six wheel tank of some sort. I just love the color. I love the functionality of it. You can see here that one has a peg, a foot peg missing here, and the other one has both of them. I could switch all the parts from one to the other, but the paint on the one on the left is better than the paint on the right. So I'm just going to pull them both apart. I've already done the one on the right already. Here you can see the damage on the paint there. I'm going to pull them both apart and uh, pick the best pieces and make one really good one. The base is held together uh, to the body with four screws. If I push this down, you can probably see them better. Get my hand out of the way here. <laughs> and uh, these screws have like a wider head on them. So we want to keep track of those four screws. They are different than any other screws inside. So we want to keep those separate. We have some really rusty springs here that we may have to replace from the other one. Remember, I'm going to be keeping the body on this one. I do need to get the cockpit out. You can see here, it's held in by four tabs. The one right here is missing. So that's another thing that's broken on this piece. So that's good that I'm replacing this. So it'll be easier to take out than the other one. So I'm gonna use the screwdriver here cause it's not sharp like a knife. And uh, what we wanna do is take one of those tabs and put it in the opening there. So it's kind of cramped here. Let's switch it over to the other side. So I can make sure you guys can see it. So 
We've got one tab over the opening and we're gonna pull this tab up inside the circle. And then as we turn it clockwise, the four tabs should come out through uh, the that little opening there. And there's two more larger tabs that pull out and that's it. That's how you take it out without breaking any tabs and without putting any stress on the toy. So now we have to take the turret apart. There's five screws. They're different than the four that I took out of the body. So we're going to pull all those out. And that way we can look at all the pieces and take the best pieces we're not going to be using this turret at all because, again, it's got a broken tab and a broken uh, foot peg. So we're just opening it up, seeing what's inside. The spring is actually cleaner than the one that, that came out of the other one, so I'll probably use that spring. The paint on this one is pretty good too, so. Just pick out the best springs. These ones are pretty good. I'm gonna put that one over there because it was kind of rusted. Let's check these pieces out. The one on the left has better paint than the one on the right, so I'll take uh, take that one, make sure there's no broken pieces or anything on it. That looks good. Yeah, these springs even made a rusted stain on my table, so they'll stay there. And for the bases, these bases are pretty much just as good as the other, but that one's dirtier and rustier. I'll take this one. It just looks cleaner. They're about the same, same chrome, same everything. All right, that's great. So in, that, in the next clip, we got all our pieces. We are going to put the car back together. Oh yeah, and don't forget to All right, let's put this hurricane back together. So first we're gonna start with the turret. Put the gun in. Make sure it's going in the right way. It is tilted. That It's tilted in the same direction as the windshield because the windshield is rounded, so it's got a round or curve to it. So make sure it goes in the right way. And there's a flat piece on the top uh, and the back of the laser gun. So that goes uh, on, the, on the top, so that slides back and forth. And then we'll put the cockpit in there. Now with the cockpit, you wanna make sure that the narrow part of the seat where the figure goes in. Make sure that's in the front in the same direction as the, the laser. Yeah. And then we're just gonna put these screws in.
I'm just screwing these in tight enough uh, so that it holds it together. You don't want to put too much strain on the plastic. the top of this turret it just pops in there it's got these little tiny pegs that stick out really like maybe one millimeter two millimeters out so it's not in there very much and that's what holds the laser gun in is the top of the the cockpit so next we're going to put the cockpit into the body So we're going to do this the exact same way, just backwards. You've got two larger tabs that go in through the opening there. Turn it until all four tabs go in. And then once they're in, that's all that is. It's pretty simple. Just turn that around so it's going the right direction. Awesome. Now all we need to do is attach the body to the frame. We can't forget uh, the springs. The springs go on these long pieces and then those connect to the frame. You just want to make sure that when you screw this back together with the four screws that those springs haven't buckled inside the other car that i put together after this the springs were buckled and i didn't realize it and then the mechanism wouldn't lift the car when you hit the button so you just want to make sure that those springs are straight up and down they don't buckle before you screw everything together And there's our completed car. It's a great example. The paint is pretty good. The chrome is really good. I did touch up some of the chrome with a Molotow pen. Didn't show that on screen. I've showed a lot of chrome repairs and stuff in my videos, so I didn't show that so much. It wasn't a lot anyway, so it wasn't a big deal. looks really good now this vehicle like I said earlier uh, came out in the, the second series of the mask vehicles and figures of course all the vehicles came with figures so this vehicle came with Hondo McLeod and his helmet is called blaster 2 I'm toys bag Zen thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel like this video if this is something that you enjoyed watching. And uh, comment down below and let me know uh, if you collect a mask and uh, what you thought of this restoration. Take care. See ya.